Hello, welcome, and good you're watching this video. Today is the 6th of May, and because it is the 6th, we give you 6 theory questions, which you can also get at the CBR if you do the test at the CBR. And the first question is, at which sign are you allowed to turn left? And multiple signs can be good, and you must tap all the correct signs. So if, for example, three signs are right and you tap only two of them, then the CBR says your answer is wrong. Okay, let's look at the signs. The first sign says you are not allowed to make a U-turn. But that's not the question. The question is at which sign are you allowed to turn left? Well, at this sign you can continue driving straight. You may turn to the right and you may also turn to the left. So we have to tap the first sign. The second sign says you approaching a priority junction and drivers from the right have to give way to you. But it doesn't say you may not turn to the left. So can we turn to the left at this sign? Of course, you can. You can go straight, you can go right, you may go left, you can do everything you want. The third sign is a one-way road. And on a one-way road, there are no approaching drivers from the opposite side. But it doesn't say you cannot turn to the right or turn to the left. So we have to tap this sign also. And the last sign says, you may only turn to the right or to the left. It's not allowed to drive straight ahead. And that's the question. At which sign are you allowed to turn left? So at this sign, we have to tap the sign because we are allowed to turn to the left. So in this case, you must tap all the four signs. And up to question number two. You've purchased a new car with an electric engine. So with a battery, and after how many years must the first APK, 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 yeah, and CBR doesn't translate this word, but it's the same as mod test in the English. So after how many years, if you have a Tesla, is it answer A after two years, answer B after two years, or answer C after four years? And right answer, answer after four years and we have petrol cars gasoline cars we have electric cars we have diesel cars and to give you an overview I made this list for you in the first row you see the age of the car the second which kind of fuel and the last when must the APK yeah, the Dutch word for more test find place well, if you have a car up to 30 years old and it's with gasoline, petrol or alcohol or with a battery, electricity, then the first time you have to do the mock test is before the car is four years old. And after that, every two years again. So in summary, the first time four, then two times two. And after that, each and every year again. Then the second row up to 30 years, but in this case we have a diesel or a car driving with gas, LPG or other possibility in combination with electricity. And then the first time you have to bring the car for the APK test is three years and every year after that. So three, one, 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 till the car gets 30 years old because if the car is more than 30 years old and it doesn't matter what kind of fuel and 30 years ago there was no electricity cars but when the car is 30 years and older once every two years you bring the car to the APK and when the car gets 50 years then no more obligation and you must know those kind of fuels those eight and when you have to bring them to the mod test yeah so learn this well then a priority question question number three what is the correct order of giving away and number one two and three must go to the right place 
And if we look at the blue moped here, we see sharp teeth. So this blue moped must give way to drivers from the left and from the right. So he must stop and let the car and the bicycle go. Then we go look at the car and some people at the CBR say, yes, this bicycle is from his right. So the bicycle goes first, but that's not true because the right from this car is here and there is no bicycle. So we have to deal with rule number two and rule number two says drivers who go straight on the same road as turning drivers have the right of way. So the first one is the car. And because the moped must stop for all the drivers from his left and right, then it's quite simple to fill in number two at the bicycle. And at last, the moped may continue his journey. We go to question number four. Your car and caravan are together eight meters long. Can you drive here if you want to go to Rotterdam and South Plain? Well, we look at the blue signs here. The first two lanes are to Antwerpen, the third lane here, Rotterdam Zuidplein, and the last lane on the left, Rotterdam Kralingen. And if your car and trailer are longer than 7 meters, you may only use the two most right lanes, but not if you have to go to another direction. So in this image, you may drive where the white car is, you may drive next to him, you may drive here, or you may drive on the left, because you choose an other direction. So, are you allowed to drive there? Yes, you are. But if there were no blue signs above the road, there was no block marking, only four lanes, then the car with the trailer may only drive in the right lane or next to the right lane. Question number five. You want to turn left, is your position on the road correct, yes or no? Well, if you come from the opposite direction and you want to drive straight, can you continue your journey? No. If you're coming from the left from this car and you want to turn to the right, can you continue your journey? No. So, his position on the road is very bad. The answer is no. If you have to turn left on a normal road, your position on the road is against the middle of the carriageway. So about here he has to drive. And don't say, yeah, there are parked cars, so I must drive there. No, you must do nothing. Uh, you must do what the CBR wants you to do. So after this car, you go back to the middle of the carriageway. Answer is no. And the final question for today, question number six, where can you stop to let a passenger out of the car? Is it answer A, along a yellow solid line? Is it answer B, at a bus stop? Or is it answer C, on the carriageway next to a bicycle lane? Well, first of all, let me explain you something. If the CBR asks a passenger, it means it can be anywhere. So don't look at the image. The image is only to fool you. So if the CBR asks a carriageway, a motorway, a whatever. Yeah, so if you see the word a, don't look at the image because the image is only to fool you. So where can we stop to let a passenger out? Can we let a passenger out along a yellow solid line? No, we cannot, because along a yellow solid line, you may not stand still. Can we stop at the bus stop to let a passenger out? Yes, we can. Yeah, and then if you look again at the image, you see you are not allowed to drive here. So if you're not allowed to drive here, you can also not stop there. Logical. Huh? But the question is A, passenger. So don't look at the image at a bus stop is the right answer. And the last answer on the carriageway next to a bicycle lane, you're not allowed to stop on a bicycle lane and also not allowed to stop on the carriageway next to a bicycle lane. So answer B is the only right 
answer. And those were the six questions for May 6th. Maybe tomorrow there is a new video. I don't know yet because I'm on vacation. I need my time to rest. I'm uh, getting older, uh, so don't work so hard anymore. And see you again by a next video. Thank you for watching. Gracias. Ciao. Hasta luego.